there, this is Allison with Let's Go Travel Tips. And today I just wanna to talk to you for a few minutes about what I think about when we visited Istanbul and our Bosphorus Strait cruise that was included in our excursion as well. So we have up our videos all about Istanbul and Gordon has got our Bosphorus cruise um, that we did that was part of the excursion. He's got that ready to put up. And so I just wanted to let you know a few things that I think it would be really helpful for you to be aware of. Now, I think that you really should watch our videos. Um, I try to talk as I'm doing things and as we are visiting places to help make you aware of um, a little bit what's going on, what we think about things, just anything that I think would be really helpful. But I wanted to make this video so that I could just tell you a few things to be aware of as you look at the excursions and um, your experience when you go to Istanbul on a cruise. So first of all, we booked a, um, an excursion with Princess Cruises with the ship there and we did one that went to the Blue Mosque, to Hagia Sophia, to, to the Top Copy Palace. Then it took us on a lunch cruise on the Bosphorus Strait and then we got to go see the Grand Bazaar before they took us back to the ship. Now that was an all-day excursion. It took us clear we like were first thing in the morning um, until we got back to the ship and we were not on the ship very long at all before sailing away. So be aware that takes a lot of time. Now would I go see everything again? Absolutely. I loved that excursion. I would highly recommend it if you are going to go to Istanbul. It is outstanding. Now the next time we go I'll probably pick something else because then I want to see more. But that was absolutely wonderful. Now a couple of things. First of all, um, going to the Blue Mosque in Hagia Sophia. Ladies, remember that you wear something that covers your knees, covers your shoulders. And then you need to have with you a scarf to put over your head. Alrighty? If you don't, they are going to have to go get one for you. And um, I think over at the Hagia Sophia you had to um, pay uh, just a little bit. It was not a lot, but they'll have you put on like another skirt, like under the skirt that you have on or over your shorts, whatever, so that that meets their um, requirements there. And I think that's very important uh, to give them respect and do what they um, require there. And then um, take a scarf with you or else you can buy one cheap there. But um I picked a special scarf to take with me, and then now I remember that I got to wear it there, so kind of keep that in mind. So after we visited those two places, then we went to the Top Copy Palace. Now the Top Copy Palace there is kind of a complex if you look at it on a map, and we did not really get to go, so like we got to go inside so that we were in the inner part, which was still outside of the palace area there, but we really did not get to go inside and look at things a lot. They have a place there like where all their fancy jewels are on exhibit and I really wanted to get to go in there. He gave us some free time but there were so many other people visiting that day that it simply was not going to work. There were um, groups of school children there which is really fun. I think that's awesome and uh, lots of other tourists and so it was just too packed in there to get to go inside and so the next time that we go, I would like to book an excursion that actually takes you inside the parts of the Top Copy Palace that they have, um, that they allow visitors into. So that's one thing to be aware of. So I think it was amazing. It's beautiful. The gardens are beautiful. It's really nice to get to see it. But somehow in my mind, I thought we were going to get to go inside a little bit. And when he gave us like, oh, I think it was maybe like a half an hour, maybe 40 minutes at the most, free time to go in. Um, and we weren't able to go inside, so I just didn't enjoyed seeing the garden and enjoying the day but because it was really beautiful but just be aware of that. Um, the other thing that I wanted to let you know about is then they took us back on the bus and took us over to where the um, the lunch cruise was on a ship. Now so often when you go on those they just put you on a little boat, the food is so-so and in fact I had said to Gordon you know what I really want to go, I want to see the Bosphorus Strait, I want to go up that and see what we can see but I don't think I'm going to eat. I'm just going to be taking pictures and, and drinking it in. <laughs> like I to, to do you know like I like to do but you know what it was magnificent if you look in the video it was this beautiful ship um, it was like an old sailing ship kind of thing and then they took you in um, luckily I got to sit by a window so that I could um, put my I put my phone out so that I could video and um, it was spectacular the scenery is extraordinary it is so beautiful there and then that food on that Oh my goodness, it was just so, so good. I think it was the best baklava I've had in my whole life. 
We've had a lot of baklava in Greece. <laughs> and um, I think it was the very best. The food was really, really, really good. And it was just um, wonderful. The entire experience, they ran it really, really well. And in fact, we have a little photo album. Um, I could show you sometime in a live or something that they take pictures. And then if you wanted to buy it, they put it in a little album for you. It was just lots and lots of fun. So that very much exceeded my expectations. I highly recommend that. If you don't want to do the exact same um, um, excursion that we did, like look for one that has a, a lunch cruise on the Bosphorus Strait. You don't want to miss that. Now then after that they put us on the bus and traffic was very heavy so that by the time we got over to the Grand Bazaar we didn't have very long there at all. Like I want to say like 20 minutes. It was not a long time that was available there. And so we just literally went in and walked around and um, they are selling lots and lots of jewelry. And I have no idea how to tell. Um, you know, just so many bracelets, so much very nice jewelry, everything in between the cheap and the expensive. And then they were selling lots of scarves, lots of spices. Um, we did not buy anything. Um, I just really wanted to see what it was like. And I would like to go back again when I had a little bit longer and maybe pick a beautiful scarf, something like that. But that's where, um, that's where we ended. We went there last and then they took us back to the ship. So we had an amazing day there in Turkey. I highly recommend going to Turkey. I would say that it did meet my expectations. I was expecting to see a beautiful place. Um, I'm really excited, truly, to get to go again so that I can see more. The people there, The um, my favorite were the children, uh, just getting to see them, but everyone was like so kind. And of course, um, I don't speak Turkish, so a smile goes a long way, but really nice. And our tour guide was amazing. He did a really, really good job, was very, um, very thoughtful, very attentive, and very knowledgeable. He he told us a lot and he was very kind. He let people ask like lots of questions and he was happy to tell us. And so, um, yeah, we had an amazing day. And so I just wanted to let you know about that. Some things to think about when you're there. I would say, um, this is how I always approach going to these beautiful places and really anywhere, like choose an excursion that will take your day, that will really take you to see as much as you can of a place like that. Um, I just am someone that I just love to see everything. I think you all probably can tell that about me now, but just keep all of that in mind when you're going to Turkey, when you're looking at what the excursions are. And um, I'm hoping, I'm planning, I'm waiting for Princess to put out their 2024 Mediterranean cruises so that we can do a group cruise. I don't know. Um, I would definitely like to do one on Princess because I've been so many times on Princess. I know exactly what to expect. But I think that um, Celebrity has a lot of amazing pro um, itineraries that go to that part of the world as well. So I'm very interested in taking a look at them as well as some other cruise lines. So let me know below um, any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer them if you would like to share your experience, what your favorite thing to see is when you go to Istanbul. I would really like to know that too. So if you appreciate this video, please give it a thumbs up. And absolutely, if you have not subscribed yet, please do subscribe because we'd love to have you with us. I'll be talking to you all again really soon. You all take really good care. God bless you. Love you. Bye-bye. <laughs>